Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. <clears throat> so we're going to take a look at your week ahead messages. If you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. And also uh, you can find that link under the profile picture on YouTube. Now they're putting it in. Um, they, re they put it there now. <laughs> All right, so this is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. So let's get into your reading, Virgo. Oh, wow, fantastic. So you're starting with the sun. Okay, definitely Leo energy there, but as far as your week goes, it looks like something's coming out into the open. There's an energy of um, joyfulness, happiness happening here. The sun is always such a positive card because it's also about... Uh, uh, Self-love, unconditional love, even for self, um, being happy, being free, having a playful kind of mindset, um, even for some material happiness and success, okay? So I, I like how you're starting off here, Virgo. Wow, you've also got the lovers. That's amazing. So, hmm, there's definitely a love decision being made this week as well. Um, also a positive outcome to some contracts. Uh, are coming into negotiations or agreements with person, place, or thing. So um, I feel like um, you're going to be very happy, especially on the love front with, with a love outcome. So let's just kind of take a look at love and see what's up with that. So showing up in that regard, um, it could be a Gemini or a, 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 why can't I say, oh, like they're wanting me to say Libra. I'm, I'm wanting to, I, I'm, I'm personally trying to say Leo, but they're also giving me Libra. So there could be a connection with a Libra this week that is a very positive thing. There's also an opening up, like somebody might be revealing or making a decision, whatever sign they are, to tell you that um, they're in love with you, for sure. Now you've got the Ten of Swords, so something's ended and someone is coming in to make an offer. There's the surrendering energy here this week as well. So there's definitely an offer coming in. It's it's stable, it's secure, it's for long term. Okay, Virgo. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely feeling on the love front here that you've got some pretty fantastic energy playing out this week. Okay. Something that might have ended um, coming to an end. And for some of you it's a it's a restart. And for others. This is like a, a new beginning after um, a falling apart in your love life and perhaps even um, meeting somebody new. The, the sun can represent like shiny new things. They're giving me that R.E.M. song, shiny happy people. <laughs> so that's a brand new kind of start. Let me see what your love message is here. Okay, you're being asked to keep an open mind. My gosh, I have so many bells, dings, and whistles going off. Your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations. So for some of you, yeah, there is a, there is a difference in a, in a connection with someone this week coming up, but at the same time, I feel like there's a similarity as well with the lovers, which is like kind of a twin flame energy. So I do like that. Now, something that has come to an end, looks like it's final, okay? Whatever's going on in your life at this time, you're hitting like rock bottom, you're done, you're finished with something, it's it's dead in the water. It might have been like a complete or might feel like a complete and um, painful ending, but this also brings a new beginning as well for you. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it looks like to me, for some of you, you know what, I'm just going to say it, some of you have been waiting for um, a proposition. It could even be like a career change or a job offer to come in. Been waiting for a while and I feel like it's finally arriving. Some of you have just kind of come to this place where, you know, that contract or that situation, soul contract, whatever you were in, um, being enlightened about that and coming to terms with, you know what, this week I'm going to change either my job, I'm going to change my romantic status, um, I'm putting things to end and having like a new beginning of healing. So I kind of like the way this energy is playing out here for you. Wow, you've got the Ten of Cups. So yeah, some of you are 
if you're going through a divorce, I do feel like um, there's some kind of payout. It feels like there's something like an offer gets made as far as a divorce goes, like a financial offer as far as a divorce situation goes. Let me see here. But whatever's ending, it feels like you're starting over. And it's kind of like a slow beginning, but I do feel like you might get, I'm also hearing there's a delivery of, of financial money or a check or something coming through the mail or being deposited or an offer of a loan of some sort coming in this week. There's also an energy of um, an invite to some kind of family function, um, maybe a party, some kind of celebration with all people around you. It could be your actual, your biological family or, you know, your soul tribe type family, the people that you um, are very close to. Um, could be some groups that you're involved in as well, but there's definitely an invite. And for some of you, there is marriage or, or long-term commitment offer being made this week. Okay. Whether that's, I want to say I'm picking up pretty strongly Libra, Leo, and Gemini. Okay, I will give you that. And I also will give you Pisces. Definitely a double Pisces energy. I'm also picking up Virgo. And definitely some Gemini. Okay, let me see what else shows up here. Okay, so got the Queen of Cups, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So there is there is an energy of emotions coming out. Someone very deep, emotionally deep, nurturing, compassionate, caring, very loving, masculine or feminine energy. Very loving, taking a look at their feelings this week. You taking a look at yours, really kind of like examining them. Um, Really, and I feel like for some of you got somebody in their feels this week, for sure. Let me see. <laughs> Virgo. Now, I feel like this person, this Queen of Cups energy, you might have, um, if there was a connection with this person, something might have ended. Or there was like um, maybe a betrayal or a, it could be a friendship or a, a romantic relationship. Something ended and it looks like there's um, for some an apology or a start. Uh, you've got somebody in their feelings this week, Virgo. Their emotions. Thinking about you. Um, they have a lot of um, compassion and love for you. For sure. Let me see. Okay. So I feel like this person um, wants you to see them. They want you to recognize them this week. They're looking at you as like a winner. They want you to recognize them this week. Let me see. Okay. Also the Queen of Swords. So for some of you, I feel like there's someone they may have been involved with who is not paying them any attention, <laughs> not giving them any like attention or the intent attention that they do give is kind of like gossipy, someone who spies or talks negative or nasty on them. Okay. They've got their back to them. So I really feel like this person, as far as love goes, um, is very nurturing and caring, loving and warm, um, but doesn't feel appreciated for what, you know, by another person. Okay, that's strongest energy I'm picking up. You also have an air sign who's kind of watching you. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Yeah, definitely watching you this week in love. Okay, but I will tell you there is an invite or passionate new beginning with someone, more like an emotional new beginning, I should say, where somebody does kind of realize that you are the one for them. You are their, you know, their soulmate. You're the person they want to be with. I feel like this person has, um, 
has clarity. After the Ten of Swords is the Ace of Swords. This person, it's like a new start, kind of. They're going back to the Major Arcana, okay? And they want to bring clarity and victory. They want to talk to you. Clear the air. Bring out some truth. Overcome any kind of conflicts or issues and just kind of have those conversations and talk about stuff with you this week okay so like i said in my weekly readings they can be romantic and they can also be um platonic relationships so if that resonates for you some kind of situation that you were in um with a romantic partner or a platonic type of a, a relationship or things went kind of sour it looks like there's spirits saying um well, don't be a fool about things, but definitely um, there's a new start happening here. Aquarius energy. So there's a new beginning for sure. There's someone taking a leap of faith here to come towards you this week. Okay, so let's let's get in more to your, your career kind of stuff and see what shows up here. Okay, so there you go, Virgo. You've got the emperor. Look at you. Making plans, Virgo. Putting yourself out there this week and work. There's a boss here um, who's kind of watching or eyeing you to see how your performance is and how you're doing as well. Or you are the, the boss and you are looking at your employees or just looking at your analytics for work and, you know, doing some reconciliation of the books and your money and seeing if, you know, you're getting back all the effort that you're putting in and vice versa. Okay. So the Emperor energy does represent someone who's like large and in charge who's kind of like, um, I feel like this person, again, it could be you, but I feel like this emperor is kind of like looking at the chart, the, the flow chart right now. They're looking at the flow chart <laughs> to see if they either need to put out, um, uh, open up positions, start a hiring process, whether or not to do that or to bring on more people or to let go of some people. Um, to see how the money's doing, to see if money's coming in, if there's enough, if there's other ways through um, marketing and communication to get things out into the open, um, to bring in more funds, to bring like a return on investments, okay? So, all right. Yeah, okay. Taking definitely a look at restrictions this week. How can we open up these doors? This is what I'm feeling. And, and it does feel mostly like you, Virgo, where you're kind of like, what more can I expand? Where am I self-sabotaging? Am I working in a position that I'm not happy with? Could I do better out on my own? Uh, a lot of thoughts and information coming to you this week, kind of like a Mercury retrograde type of stuff, like bringing it, reeling it back in and kind of like fine tooth combing everything to see if this is working for you this um or do you feel like you're a prisoner of your job or a prisoner of work or maybe just switching the company switching companies or an area in the company a lot of thought going in yeah it all has to do with work you know is the effort that you're putting in um really returning what you need are you working extra hard and really not getting a bonus or receiving anything that is owed to you do you feel like you're just working day in and day out very rote um i don't know i feel like you have a lot of thoughts on your mind how you can maybe be an entrepreneur or how you can reach that level is, is there even um a place in your job that you can get to the top is that an off is that like available to you or is this as far as it goes you know a lot of kind of like looking towards the future looking out on the horizon to see what um how you can expand uh, maybe you're doing commerce or e-commerce. Commerce. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff. This has to do with either you being a boss or hiring someone to manage your, if you have your own business or bringing more people in. Okay, so it's really important messages there for you for this week as far as work to consider. Not So I don't feel like with the Mercury retrograde, it's really a good idea to make any giant moves. But I definitely feel like it's 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 a good time to reanalyze everything, relook at everything to see if you are keeping yourself with the Eight of Swords kind of like a prisoner. 
if, if, if you are the one who is doing this to yourself by maybe saying you'll never be able to get that degree or you're not going to be able to be what you really want to be for whatever reasons or you feel trapped um, with this girl here on the Eight of Swords her feet are free she can walk out and she might not be able to see where she's going um, but she can use her blind faith and try to feel her way through the situation um, if she's making changes she's not really trapped as much as she thinks she is so that's something I feel like you're gonna come to terms with this week or maybe have a little bit of enlightening or <laughs> enlightenment hopefully you don't get hit by lightning Virgo okay so yeah, Knight of Wands, King of Wands. So definitely getting your power back, taking some bold moves. Um, it's just an energy of like, I feel like you're going to get your fire lit this week. You know, in regards to like things you want to do for yourself. It's not even only just about money and um, creative aspects as well. So if you have like creative abilities um, and you've been working a desk job, it might be time to kind of think about, you know, can you do a little side hustle? With something creative um you, you might be one of those virgos who has the ability to be um i want to say kind of on the cusp of being able to be administrative and also be creative you, you might be one of those in fact I, I generally think most virgos are extremely creative but they also they do also have the ability to organize and be task oriented so Maybe you are a very organized or task oriented or just very routine. There might be something here, like, like I said, lighting you up a little bit as far as like your creative abilities to bring in a little more money. You know, there's something for everyone out there, Virgo. And there's there's always a, ni a niche, a niche. Uh, there's always a group of people who are going to want something that you offer. So I feel like if you start thinking about that kind of thing, I feel like you'll... Um, you really make great change. <laughs> you might even surprise yourself or shock yourself with what you're able to do or what you realize that you can actually do. You can actually make money and, and have a, um, a side hustle or a career, a new career. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's see what like other life stuff is showing up here for you. Okay, so you have the Four of Swords. Let's move these out of the way. And you have the Eight of Wands. The Magician. And the Queen of Wands. All right, Virgo. So this week looks like a good time to retreat. Absolutely. It's a good time for you to get as much rest as you can. If you are able. Some of you might be recovering from surgery. Um, or you're recovering from an illness. I'm hearing focus on your rest. That's so important. Good sleep, not overdoing things, taking your rest moments when you need it, being mindful, being um, maybe even prayerful for some of you. Someone, you may get news of um, the date of a funeral. Not an act, not an actual funeral. I'm not predicting that. I'm, I'm predict. This might be something that you already know about, and you might hear. Um, I'm, they're saying it's good news, <laughs> in the sense that um, it might have been something that was held up. I don't know what the hell that means, but I'm hearing like, or um, you'll be able to attend also um, the funeral of someone, right? Um, I don't, I don't feel like this is, um, this isn't something where you're going to be like, oh my God, House of Virgo said such and such was going to die and, and then it happened. I'm not, I'm not predicting death. I'm predicting this is something you might already know about. And if that doesn't resonate for you, don't turn it into something that it's not because then you're going to be freaking yourself out all week and that's, that's not good. Um, this is something to, for someone, someone of you, some of you here who, um, already are aware of something like this and you thought maybe you couldn't go or you couldn't get off work or you weren't able to do go somewhere or be attend it, it it's going to happen i feel like you're going to find out you're going to be able to attend okay that's one message and that's very specific so if, if you're just sitting here like hmm hmm then it's not for you 
for those of you who get that message, you'll be like, yep, I know exactly what that is. Okay, that's for you. Now let me see what else is going on here. So there's definitely going to be some other good news coming in for you as well this week. Um, there's some change that's happening. Some news is coming in and something is changing very fast, very swiftly that you're going to hear about. Let me see what this is. Oh, well, some of you might hear that, um, someone is ready to make a commitment to something, whether that's love or a job or sign the deal, whatever it might be, something as in along the lines of like commitment, I feel like um, you're going to hear um, that somebody is because it's Cupid's arrows a little bit. And I know it's bringing us back to love here, but you're going to. So, all right. It's a couple of different messages. So let me just give it straight. Some of you are going to find out someone's ready to commit to a long term relationship. Some of you are going to find out that someone is committing to a long term relationship with somebody else. OK, so. For some of you, that's great news. For some of you, that kind of sucks, right? And um, best scenario, best outcome there is to wish them well. Um, because with Cupid's Arrows, it does kind of feel like that's fast. Well, that was fast. I feel like the energy, you might, for some of you, you might feel like, oh, really? Uh, they just met. Um it doesn't have to be an ex of yours. It could be someone that you know, that you find out like, oh, they're so-and-so is like, they're getting married and they just met last week. It's kind of that energy, <laughs> you know, or they're, they're in a long-term relationship. And I don't know if you're concerned, but I do feel like you're gonna be like, what? You know, what? You, you guys are what? <laughs> you just met yesterday. So <laughs> keep his arrows. The Eight of Wands always kind of gives me that love bomb and energy. So just keep that in the back of your head. You might find out about that this week. I also have the Magician here. Let me see what's going on with that. Oh, okay. So they're just really reiterating that this week your focus creativity is absolutely going to manifest a long-term financial security for you. Virgo, whatever you are doing if you're already working in some kind of financial or I'm sorry, some kind of creative aspect, creative thing, keep at it because the 10 of pentacles, much like it starts with the um, ace of pentacles going all the way to the 10. This is not like instant jackpot. This is layering and building and being consistent every day. Some of you are also going to find out that there is an inheritance um, or a will that you will be assigned to either that you will be the beneficiary of um, an inheritance or a huge amount of money as well. But others of you, this has a lot to do also with your focus, your creativity, manifesting a new beginning as far as your career, your finances go. Um, I, I see like trees and I see like these deep, deep roots, you know, like, like I think like a, a tree that catches fire, the, everything above the ground gets destroyed, but I feel like the deepest of the roots don't get touched. And then because of that, they're still s preserved and then they can still grow. So this is something about planting deep, deep ro roots and building or rebuilding, but in a more focused and creative way. And it's also for some of you um, feeling inspired. There's a, you get a, a kick of inspiration this week as well. There's an energy here also of um, these these visions or the like if you have a vision board or something you've been kind of like, oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. Really narrowing it down and um, turning th those visions into reality going forward. So I like it. OK, for some of you, this could be a long term relationship as well, that that energy it's you know, you could meet someone like I said, with love, there's a new start. Um, now, it could be a recommitment to someone, but it could also be a new start in love. So you might be connecting with someone new this week where you might never thought that either it would happen or that this person would be the one for you because there's there or a soulmate because there's a difference in you and another person this week. And if you don't know who that is, just, you know, 
you go through your week and wait and see let the energy play out for some of you it could be a fire sign as well aries leo sagittarius well, let's take a look and see why the queen of wands is here all right some of you like i said it could be a water sign um there is a couple now this could be you and another person let's see oh so there's all right for some of you there's a new friendship that's forming um for some of you who have birthdays and happy birthday virgo if today is your birthday for some of you who have birthdays um also i want to give uh steve b a shout out for his birthday it was yesterday if you guys could all wish him a happy birthday that would be great um and please leave a comment or in the chat if it's your birthday today um, so I do feel like for some of you who have had or uh, have birthdays before August is up, you're still kind of with a little bit of the Leo energy. So you're still a little bit cuspy, not really till you get into September that, you know, you're full on Virgo, but there is always a residual. So if you're on the cusp of, um, you know, between August 23rd and the 31st, there may be a connection with a water sign, um, where there is a friendship that forms with a water sign male or female energy could also be a new love beginning as well and yeah ace of pentacles so there's an offer coming into you well it, and it's a money offer or um a gift receiving a gift this week from someone from could be from a fire sign but it could also be from a water sign okay let's see so expect some kind of a gift there might be a date uh, you and our friendship you guys get together um, it's definitely masculine and feminine energy um, you guys get together and maybe go shopping or go have dinner or drinks something along those lines as well so I kind of like that it's kind of sweet and we're going to give your overall message for the week to see what Virgo needs to know Virgo's overall message for the week okay you've got justice so Focus on, well, <laughs> karma is definitely playing out this week. There's definitely going to be um, an energy of feeling some kind of karma. Now, I want to say there is a cause and effect, and the, the whole week is a win for you. Um, also, pay attention this week. The overall message is that a lot of truths are going to come to you this week, and especially in this Mercury retrograde, that energy always happens always happens all right let me just see what messages of love you have here okay you've got support lean on your inner circle during this time virgo very good you may also have interference an external party intruding on a relationship um so external party can be a person place or a thing you also have integrity. Does a situation align with your val values and morals? Stuff for you to kind of, I guess, be thinking about this week. And also, you need to have your boundaries. Keep your boundaries up this week, Virgo. All right. Um, just a couple more messages here. Okay, nice. You've got fun times, parties, events, having fun this week could be going somewhere or going to a party some of you are <laughs> some of you are the dating queen see like uh enjoying opportunities dates and abundance people throwing gifts and flowers your way let's see Yep, there you go. There's karma. That's what I said. There's definitely um, new opportunities occurring, but there's this what comes around goes around energy playing out this week. So pay attention to that. Um, it could be you getting some karma. Karma doesn't necessarily denote a particular uh, good or bad. It, it, it can be either one. Um, so it could be your karma and hopefully you've put out some good energy out there. If you have coming back to you this week. Um, now, if it was negative energy, you know, life lessons, right? Um, it could also be happening with somebody else. So keep that in mind. Could be someone who um, didn't take a relationship seriously um, or played games. They were like the dating. They were just always dating and messing around, having a fun. Looks like that might have been very toxic 
and that's coming back to them. They just said real quick. Um, all right, so I'm going to leave that weekly message. I know it wasn't exactly the way I do it every week, but I have to get to my, the live stream now. So, um, yeah, you guys, I will see you back here tomorrow, Monday, for Who's Coming Towards You reading. And um, as always, make good choices. Be happy. Love yourselves. Happy birthday. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care.